No, uh, you just didn't watch the beer video last week. That's what happened. There was one. You missed it. Helen and I were here. Where the fuck were you? <laughs> right? Right. Tell them. Yeah. Actually, you know, actually, Brian, I am canceling you. Um, because Again? We, yeah, I know, right? Um, because I was going to do Modest Brewing's, one of their Pride Month beers. So, you know... Um, Bisexual erasure canceled. I have been, I, I have been accused of strange things, Helen. You know this, uh, and so yeah. that would that would go along go right along with that. It would go right along with it. But oh well, um, I know. No, sorry, we were not here last week. It was uh, nobody's fault but mine. I was the one who could not figure out a time to do the thing, and uh, yeah, it was one of those weekends. We just love America that much. Uh, Helen and I both are, um, you know, very patriotic and. Uh... Yeah, July was my 10th wedding anniversary, so. That's right. Happy anniversary to you and to your incredible husband, who is now very happy, right? Because he's got a cassette. Yes, yes. He, loves it. Yes. he actually talked to all his magic nerd friends. And nice. With Thanks to our good friend, uh, old man Zach Weston of Low Cunning, uh, who was on the beer video uh, a few months ago. Um, he's, he's a lovely man. You know, one of these days, we're going to get him back on this goddamn video. And, I hope. Um, what's that? I hope so. Yeah, we will. We will. We will. We just got to figure out a time where I have to call, you know, I got to like actually uh, text him or something and, and figure out when to do this. But I, uh, uh, Helen, today was hell. Um, I'm going to tell you what. So Ed Sheerhan is at the football stadium today. And while I don't believe he draws the same number as a Taylor Swift, I don't know. I, maybe he does. I, have no, I, I really don't know. I was trying to go to the North Hills today. Um, I know this means nothing to you, the North Hills, but people in Pittsburgh know what I mean. As I'm driving, you could either go straight to end up going toward the football stadium, which I did not want to do because I didn't want to get stuck in that traffic, right? Instead, I was trying to take the Boulevard of the Allies, or Allies, however you pronounce it, um, to the North Hills. There is no warning whatsoever. I am on 376 East. There's no fucking warning that the exit to the Boulevard of the Allies is closed. So the only way to go is to go straight fucking through that Ed Sheeran traffic. No, I, I, took, I pulled off the road onto an exit way faster than I should have because I was going fast because it's whatever. And I was like, that's fine. We're going to approach this. We're going to go through the Armstrong Tunnels. Uh, the Armstrong Tunnels basically connect the south side to, like, uptown. Um, and I'm like, fine. We're going to go through the Armstrong Tunnels. We'll just hit the North Hills that way. The Armstrong Tunnels closed. <laughs> closed. Fuck. Fuck. So I was like, that's fine. I will just go through downtown and... Um, you can go through downtown and avoid the football stadium. It's not in downtown. It's like over on the North Shore. So I'm like, fine, no problem. I'll go cut through the downtown, go up by the hockey arena. No problem. I go up by the hockey arena. The The way I took was closed. Like you could not get to the exit to the North Hills the way I did it. And I was just like, I'm fucking getting there. Like, I don't care how I have to get there. I am going to get to the North fucking Hills. So I had to go all the way back around the city again, come all the way back up by the hockey arena, take a different route, and I finally got to the North Hills. But then on the way home, the Veterans Bridge was closed. I have no idea what Pittsburgh's doing. Not a clue. It's like there's a huge show at the stadium, and you can't get anywhere. Is this construction, or? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they closed a major highway here today. Um, you know. It didn't really affect me, but a lot of people were griping about it, I noticed. So, I don't know. I guess, uh, you know, July is just the month of inconvenience for everybody. You would think, though, sure. But you would think, like, hey, there's a huge, like, I don't know, 50,000 people. Does that sound right? Let's say 50,000 people are going to see this weird guy at the stadium. Let's maybe not have most of the major roadways leading in and out of town closed, you know? No. Yeah. Um, we managed the Taylor Swift traffic here pretty well, as far as I can tell. But, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I wonder how big a crowd Ed Sheeran draws. I don't know anything about pop music, really. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea. I mean, I'm surprised he was playing. I, I didn't think he was big enough to play the football stadium. I was very surprised, but. I mean, I will applaud anyone who looks kind of like a Cabbage Patch doll achieving pop stardom. Sure. Yeah. 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 That's kind one of unheard of. Uh, by one of us, I mean like kind of faintly weird looking people. So, you know, good for him, I guess. I, I don't, his music doesn't really interest me, but. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like uh, when slightly weird looking guys get famous and adored. Good for them. It's weird, though, that in pop culture, weird-looking guys can get popular, but it never seems like weird-looking women can get popular. Yeah, I guess the last one I can think of is PJ Harvey, who's like, you know, she's very pretty, but she's got kind of like a, you know, kind of a strangely proportioned face and a real big nose. Boy, the, we, I, I can't even talk about PJ Harvey, because this, this video will turn real filthy. Uh, so let's maybe not talk about PJ Harvey. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> now let's save it for beer video after dark. Beer video after dark. That's right. Oh, all right. Helen, I think you went first last time, right? I can't remember. Let's say yes. Okay, because I didn't have my sticker up, and that's the only way I can fucking remember. So I'll go first, because uh, my beer's stupider, and I know that you have uh, a more interesting beer that you want to talk some Minnesota history. So I'll just go first. I ordered this beer from a uh, beer ordering service when I saw it because I'm a fucking nerd. You can see the back of my wall. Um, so anyway, this beer is called Out of Order, and it features a weird cartoon uh, image of Greedo from Star Wars. And it has him saying, going somewhere solo. Um, so oh, I was told to keep cold because it is a beer uh, and to drink it fresh. Anyway, uh, it's an American sour. Uh, it's six and a half alcohol. Six Jesus Christ. Six and a half per six percent alcohol by volume. Uh, is brewed by Rar Brewing from Cambridge, Maryland. Okay, Rar spelled how? R A R. Okay, I thought it was R A W R, and I was like, man, brewery started by someone who maybe spent a little too much time on MySpace in the late two thousands. Yeah, I don't know. It just says Rar Brewing. A R A R. You can all you can find them on Facebook and on Instagram at R A R Brew or maybe it's R A R Brewing. I don't know. I don't know. It's the first time I've had one of these beers. I I didn't find it in Pittsburgh, and I guess just fittingly we're gonna drink out of a Return of the Jedi glass. Greedo was long dead by this movie. Uh, he got what he deserved. I yeah. never like the whole thing behind like oh we have to make him shoot first so Han doesn't seem like a bad guy. Like right, like that's the point. You know, like, uh, I don't want to get all castled up or whatever, but like, uh, you know, if a dude's like holding a gun on you and like saying he's going to take you back to your old boss who almost definitely is going to execute you, I feel like, you know, some retaliation is justified. I don't yeah. think that would be great. Yeah, it made Han's character better. I yeah. don't, I, I don't, I don't even acknowledge the, uh, the, the redo. It's bullshit. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, if you want to talk moral ambiguity, oh. like, he acts kind of annoying, like, to both Luke and Leia, and, like, he's a smuggler, so, <laughs> like, you can't really take away that part of his character, like, he's just, like, yeah. kind of a bad guy, but, like, even some bad guys can do good, like, that's, that's the whole point. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm rehashing it. No, uh... Helen, uh, there's there's an, an even more exciting element of this beer that I didn't know about until I poured it. It's green. Hell yeah. What's in it? It doesn't say. It just says an American sour. Um, okay, well. Holy Christ, I can't even read. The, uh, uh, brewed and copious. Brewed. Uh, brewed uh, so hard to read. Copious amounts of banana, mango, lime. Hint of mint and lactose. Han, de mint. Han definitely shot first. <laughs> oh, boy. You I'm going to try this. I, I How could I say anything bad about this? It's like so many people are angry about it. <laughs> no, it's really good. I, it, it, it's... um. Vision. It tastes like 
when you were a kid, when, oh my God, my English tonight. When you were a kid, when I was a kid, when we were all kids, and you would just make like little sugary drinks, like a Kool Aid or something like that, you know, that you would drink all summer. Mm. Imagine that sour and a little fizzy. That's kind of what this tastes like. It's a, it's a, it just tastes chock full of sugar. Um, it's really sweet and sour because it is a sour and definitely a lot of lime. Um, I guess that's not a surprise. I'm, I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming the green is food coloring, but um, definitely a lot of lime. Um, well, like that can color things pretty strongly. Are you tasting? True. There's a little bit of mint on the back end. Um, I'm going to say this is a weird comparison, but did you ever have like a fruit flavored Tic Tac? Like an or no, they make orange Tic Tacs. Years ago, yes. Okay. I'm sure. So I'm a child, so I just bought Sprite Tic Tacs. And so in your mouth, it tastes sweet, but then the back end of that Tic Tac tastes minty. So, and not heavily so, but just a little bit. So the back yeah. end of this beer tastes a little bit minty, but not overwhelmingly so. Yeah, one of my favorite teas, actually, and maybe I'll brew a batch later this weekend, is uh, melon and mint. That is one of my favorite flavor combinations. So yeah. I, I'm a big fruit and mint advocate, but that does sound a bit overwhelmingly sweet, the way you've described it. It's pretty sweet. I don't think that I would drink this whole pint, uh, just because it's a little too, it's a little too sweet and sour for me. But that's not, an, I'm not, you know, I'm not criticizing the beer it's just my taste i like the taste of it like my first my first sip of it was like i'm gonna go swim in a fucking pool in my backyard which i don't have um yeah i i love it and i just i'm just drinking greedo's blood basically is what i think this is it's greedo's blood yeah fuck greedo con shot first <laughs> real great for creature suit on that one too um we don't use practical effects as much which is a real shame. Yeah. Or I yeah. don't know why. I don't see him as much, which is sad. Oh, uh, shall we do a shirt check? Yeah, go. You do yours first, because mine's gonna uh, probably involve a lot of eye rolling. Oh. Okay. Maybe not. I don't. Maybe not. <laughs> this is Infernal Conjuration. They are a death metal band from Tijuana. They played here a few years ago at this weird little arts theater. Um, but actually, I'd been listening to him for a little while before that. Um, uh, I don't know if you ever listened to the Full Metal Hipster podcast. I really miss it. Mm -hmm. uh, dude, I think he wrote for like Vice and Google and stuff. And yeah. I think he's a big boy job now and is too busy for it or just lost interest, which is a shame. I've discovered like a dozen bands do that. Um, but yeah. Uh, they're a real good time if you like just kind of classic death metal. I know like old death metal is a bit of a crowded market now, but yeah. they're worth a listen if that's your thing, I think. And uh, this is also one of my only band shirts that it's not black, so I appreciate it for that. There you go. Um, send me whenever, because uh, usually you send me the brewery name and the whatever text or an Instagram message. Send me that band too, because I want to yeah. look them up. I've never heard of them. I haven't listened to them before. I haven't heard all the bands. I think I never will hear all the bands, but I'd like to hear as many bands as I can. So I mean, uh, that's a that's the real struggle, isn't it? It is. I'm just wearing a ZZ Top shirt. Yeah, well, classic. Can't yeah. fuck with that. So last weekend, <clears throat> whenever I'm doing my writing for the for my site, uh, I usually write Sunday nights. If there's a wrestling pay per view, I'll put that on a wrestling show. So I had, I had, I thought I had DVR'd a wrestling show that I didn't get to see, but my DVR fucking shit the bed and it didn't DVR. It. But on my DVR list, some time back, I had DVR'd a documentary about ZZ Top. I think it's called the Big Old ba uh, the, the Big Old Band from Texas. It came out in 2019. It's fucking fantastic. It is yeah. so good. It's so good. And so, like, I always, I mean, I've had this ZZ Top shirt for a few years, but like, I've always liked them. But I'm just like on a ZZ Top explosion now. Like I'm listening to them constantly. I'm annoying everybody in the house. Fourth of July weekend, we were sitting out. I got a solo stove. We were sitting out in the backyard. I'm listening to ZZ Top. There were many requests for me to change music. Um, Jesus Christ, man. Like, okay, what are you going to do? 
get a little far, huh? Yeah. Anyway, I love them. I'm I'm so excited. Uh, I just I bought another shirt and a bandana from their website, and then I was like, I need more of their records. So I found Eliminator at fucking Walmart last week when I was there trying to buy a uh, 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 a um, charging cord for my laptop, and uh, I bought Trace Ombres. So I'm yeah, I'm annoying. <clears throat> anyway, what's that? Yeah, oh, I'm just making fun of you. Um, all right, I guess it's beer time. It is so, beer time. Time for the beer. This is going to require a little explanation of the name, I think. Yeah. So I am drinking a double IPA from Blackstack Brewing. 8.6% alcohol. Looks like Blackstack, I think I've featured before. Yeah, it's it is Meat Raffle. Well, that's a great name. Are you familiar with the concept of a meat raffle? I'm not, and I am very interested. Okay, so it's a tradition, uh, mostly in places like VFWs um, in like Wisconsin, Minnesota, and rural New York are the main places, I think. Okay. What happens is you go and you buy your tickets, usually pretty cheap, like a dollar or whatever, and um, you sit down and, you know, uh, you wait for the guy up like on a on a stage or somewhere to yeah. like uh, pull the numbers which you know and you spin a, he spins a wheel i think usually um and if he gets your number you will go home with a basically a randomly selected meat my god yeah it's not like completely random like in summer it's usually like grilling stuff like burgers and sure. brats and like kind of closer to the holidays sometimes i'll get like a turkey or whatever uh full disclosure i have never been to a meat raffle just because we don't really have like a big enough household or enough freezer space for like yeah. the kind of quantities of meat they're usually doling out but uh i think the concept's real great and you know maybe maybe i should just give in and get a chest freezer already so i can like go hog wild at a meat raffle well, you answered my second question, which was going to be, do these still exist? So I guess they do. They absolutely do. And oh, like, shit. my assumption was like, they mostly exist like kind of out in like, kind of upstate Minnesota, like not in the immediate area, but there are still a few going on like in Minneapolis and St. Paul. I think um, <clears throat> most of the ones in Minneapolis are in Northeast, like the parts of Northeast that are still like fairly working class. So Wow, that is insane. Yeah, I never... Yeah, I'll take the bus up northeast and uh, get like 20 pounds of venison someday or something. Oh my god. Yeah, so this... um, I did not do a sour this week. I was getting a little sick of those. Uh, I don't know anything about hot strains, but for anyone who does... Um... Mosaic Strata, Azaka cry Cryo, Amarillo Cryo, and Citra Cryo. I usually do not like Cryo hops, so like we'll mm. see how. They... Um, the one like super Cryo hopped beer I had just kind of tasted like very intense weed, which is not always a flavor I like. Yeah. Open it up. Oh yeah, so I I had yet to match your glassware game, but I got this one. At a thrift store. I don't know if you can see it on here. It says sleazy P. I do see it. <laughs> um, there was a matching one with another name, so I assume like sleazy P and his buddy had a falling out, or else they just didn't want their giant novelty glasses anymore. So that looks that that looks a uh, a uh, uh, groomsman gift esque. I assume it's something like that, or like frat brother. Yeah, yeah. I I. I had uh, a glass like that from being a groomsman at a wedding, and the marriage lasted like thirty days. So I don't have it anymore. Boy, it, it, it's fine because everything worked out for the best for uh, my friend. So it, it's okay. He, he his partner now is fantastic. He's in a great relationship. They have two awesome kids. Worked out for the best. So it's okay. Matt and I have lapped a couple marriages that we were guests at. So you know and... that's. <laughs> 
Re uh, remind me uh, off air to tell you the story about uh, whenever we were at Grooms at this wedding, the one Grooms and the thing he said to me right before the wedding started uh, when I could, I, and I basically couldn't stop laughing through the first half of the, of the wedding, but go ahead. Better than a funeral. Mm, smells like an IPA. It looks really thick. Kind of meaty. Hmm, that's a that's a bold one. Yeah. Hmm. I like this guy. Um I was saying to my friend actually at the Mayors of Thrace show, which was the reason we couldn't do the beer video last week is like it's funny to me that IPAs have this reputation as like the manly man beer or whatever. Yeah. Where it's just like, I want something that tastes like tropical fruit, please, because I'm baby. I know some IPAs are super bitter. This is not one of those. Some of them are. I mean, I guess it just depends. Especially the pops. Bitterness. Like a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. Like I guess you would get from eating a kind of bitter fruit, but there is plenty of that like tropical fruit hop flavor as well. I feel like it's kind of nicely balanced. Also it's called meat raffle. Let's be honest. It's like I would be <laughs> drinking this even if it tastes like pee. <laughs> not to disparage my friends who are into that kind of thing. No, of course not. No, no, no. If you drink we are friends of pee drinkers here at the beer video. Um, we are fine with it. Uh, if you drink pee, you drink pee. Hey, as long as the, you have the consent to drink the pee and you're fine drinking it, who am I to judge you? I don't know if I should be talking about piss drinking when I'm drinking this extremely yellow beer. I get, though, if your pee looks like this, you should be pretty alarmed. Go you see should a go to see a doctor. <laughs> and I'm being serious. I know that we're we're joking here about pee drinking. Like, I don't give a fuck what you do. Oh, of course you do great i don't care and i have it on good authority that um several um you know of the famous or death metal musicians are like very into that stuff which is uh you know uh, well, when, I, when i when i saw the devil's blood i actually was close enough to to where they were doing their ritual where they were pouring butcher's blood all over themselves How was that How's that less gross? Oh, boy. Yeah, I was close enough. Like, I saw Watain once, and I was close yeah. enough to see it. And, like, just... That was a real hello darkness, my old friend moment. Like, you ever have, <laughs> like, kind of just makes you wonder why God gave you the sense of smell? Mm -hmm. Like, Mm-hmm. Yeah. I uh, I guess the thing I can most compare it to is when I had like a little Tupperware tub of beans in the fridge that I forgot about, like uh and accidentally opened it. Just a real existential dread kind of stench. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happened to me a couple weeks ago with some Brussels sprouts. Oh no. <laughs> you just never forget where you were when it happened. Yeah. It was uh, a nightmare. Bench. Jesus Christ. We've gone some places on this beer video this week, Helen. Oh, we sure have. You didn't yell about the old meat roll Ron once, I, I noticed. didn't yell about him. Um, I'm kind of psyched there's cocaine at the White House. I think that's great. Um, Be getting stuff done over there, I guess. Um I love how it's like this big scandal. It's like, yeah, that's the first time there was coke in the White House. Yeah. That's uh, a first in our country's history. Yeah. You know, I would believe that Trump does not do cocaine just because he's an older chubby guy with a bad heart. And I figure yeah. maybe that's a bad idea. But like all of the like, you know, White House staffers and shit, it's like you gotta, you know, like the Secret Service guys, for example, like they're pulling some 24 hour shit. Yeah. And, like Brandon wants some ice cream at 2 a.m. They gotta take him there. Yeah. Of course, you need a little booger sugar to get through that. Yeah. Uh, probably. I, 
That's why I couldn't do that job because I'm terrified of cocaine and uh, I'm terrified of having a job in the White House. I want neither one of those in my life. But I'm too uh, stupid. You know. <laughs> What's that? Be, I'm too mean and stupid for that. Like I can't accurately assess a threat level, and I'd probably make to blunder in front of some diplomat or some shit. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be good at it. I, I it's the last place I should be. Maybe not the last. Well, no, it's probably the last place I should be. You know, close to Pride Month, I guess, belatedly. Did you see that DeSantis ad? That was oh obvious. My God. Oh. oh my God. Like, oh boy. I just oh. said this to somebody this week when we were talking about it, but Ron, the gay is calling from inside the house. And I it's just, fine. Again. I, I sent it to my friend and he's he like I needed to convince him it was real, and he's like, "Wait, theories like DeSantis has like a super closeted staffer who wants to make him look like an asshole." I just, I think my favorite thing actually was it features, um, uh, a, a Chili's. I can't right. Not, uh, you know, well, okay his relationship with uh his mm -hmm. ambiguous of course but um yeah. and greek mythology is pretty fucking gay yeah yeah i also recently read an excellent book where achilles is a trans woman and i will send you that title later but yeah it's like achilles you know famously straight achilles yeah um patrick bateman yeah <laughs> Can you imagine all the fucking retirees and like Palm Springs or whatever watching that and like being like, who's that young gentleman? And then like maybe looking him up and it's like, oh, like, you know, he's a character in a movie who does like pretty unspeakable things with a power drill. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think the whole thing of that video just being like, you know, Oh, Trump was, uh, you know, supportive of the LGBTQ, which he fucking wasn't. Like, he wasn't. He wasn't. I mean, and, like, the clip they showed was, like, Trump speaking immediately after the Pulse nightclub shooting. Yeah. Your mind very as to how sincere you think he was or whatever, but it's, like, you know, you have to be a fucking psychopath to not realize, like, you know whatever fucking personal hangups you have about gay people, like, even even the weirdest freak is going to be like, well, like, I don't think people should be murdered. Like, that's really all he was fucking saying. Yeah. I, and of course, the shooter was, I guess, like, a uh, from a Muslim family. So, you know, I think he hammered that angle. Yeah. It's just... It's like the other thing too with that. It's like there's like the muscled up, you know, the oiled up muscle guys, but not even that. It's like the people that have this fetish of Trump is like Rambo or Trump is like all ripped. Where is that coming from? There's a lot of internal questions you need to ask yourself when you're yes. out there trying to shit on gay people and this is the thing you're celebrating. It's okay. Look, I understand fascist gays idolizing someone like, I don't know, Yukio Mishima. Because, like, that guy could at least do a push-up, right? Yeah. Like, uh, or, like, any of the dozens of fascists, I guess, who actually, like, you know, lift. Yeah. But, okay, Trump is a, like, just a weird, chubby guy. Um, no hate on on the chubby kings out there right? like you know dude obviously doesn't work out uh -huh. uh, and like you know just like famously thin-skinned and not that bright so like yeah i feel like there's people with repulsive politics that kind of have better like we're kind of better at life than that yeah like why this guy i why this fucking guy you know like he's not he's not even really all that good at anything besides like kind of being a big personality and whipping up crowds like yeah that's it he's he's hulk hogan with no muscles that's it <sighs> that's what i think people have elected like we just elected hulkamania 
Well, nice work, you idiots. But so to have the one actual ex-wrestler governor. Yes. <laughs> considering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Helen, I'm getting the warning that time's running out, uh, so we should end this video for the people. Uh, you can go back to your regular jo jobs? What? Go back to your regular lives and uh, go have a beer. Um, and um, again, throw Ron DeSantis' books over a hill. Uh, I don't care. Um, but uh, yeah, until next week. Anything else? Any final words? Well, as they say, fight. may the deep dish bless you and keep you. I can't see it any better than that. Um, also, I couldn't repeat it any better than that. So not only could I not come up with a better saying, but I also couldn't say it any better. So uh, bye. Bye.